Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear fellows, welcome to Plant Science Tools. Uh, we are here today to learn about one way analysis of variance, LSD test, and making of uh, a graph showing LSD values on it. So uh, let's start with it. First of all, we have to uh, set working directory. So we will uh, go to sessions and then set working directory, choose directory and uh, then we will uh, select our destination folder and select it. Okay, the working directory is ready now. Then uh, we have to load our data. To, uh, to loading or importing data, we will uh, write this command. Uh, but uh, make sure that this the file name that you use here must be in the uh, working directory so that uh, this file could be read by the R program. So uh, we run this command. Uh, okay, the file is ready now. File is loaded. Uh, to make sure about this uh, file, we uh, view it uh, using head data command. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is our data that we have loaded. Then uh, we attach this data to analyze it. Okay, the data is, has been attached. Now we have to apply the model. Uh, for that, we need to load uh, stats package. So uh, we uh, use this command library stats. Okay, uh, the program is loaded. Now we will do analysis of variance. For analysis of variance, we use uh, this command. Uh, this is uh, this will be the file name that will be used subsequently, and this is actually the model command. Here, PA is response variable, and uh, GEN is uh, the treatment variable. So you can uh, rename it accordingly. Analysis of variance AOV is uh, the model name. So you can uh, change these variables, name of variables according to your file. If uh, you use some other name uh, of your response variable, you can write it here. Uh, make sure that uh, you have the same spellings uh, as it is written in your uh, data file so uh, to avoid any error. Okay, we run this command. Okay, analysis of variance is done. The file is loaded here on uh, right panel. Okay, uh, then we can view results from here using this uh, ANOVA command. So uh, this is our ANOVA. You can uh, see here it in console. Uh, analysis of variance table. Our results are highly significant. So we can move forward for LSD test. Okay, for LSD test, we have to load another package called Agricoles. For that, we will write this command library uh, Agricole. Okay, uh, that package is loaded. If you are uh, not uh, installed it already, uh, you need to install it first, and then uh, you can load this from library command. Okay, uh, then uh, we have to do LSD analysis. For LSD analysis, this command will be used where uh, your uh, response variable will be written here, uh, then your treatment variable, then uh, DF error, then MS error, then alpha value, and uh, then uh, P adjusted uh, that is uh, Bonferroni function. Bonferroni function, uh, it, there are different functions, so we choose uh, Bonferroni functions. Uh, then uh, group visualization would be true. It means, uh, it means that you want to view the groups. Uh, it will show grouping and it will be shown in console. So console is also true. So uh, let's run this command. Okay, uh, the data has been analyzed. Uh, result file is created here uh, with the name LSTA. 
uh, and you can view it view the results in console panel okay uh, the results are here okay uh, then uh, we have to load another uh, package D player uh, to arrange these genotypes um, to, to arrange these um, uh, treatment variables according to the names in ascending or descending order uh, according to your facilitation so uh, we run this command okay uh, the package is loaded then uh, we run this command uh, to arrange in ascending order okay uh, arrangement is done then we can uh, view arrangement here okay uh, so uh, the genotypes has been arranged then uh, we have to visualize uh, in a graph so for that we need to uh, load this uh, package again uh, since we have already loaded so we do not need to run this command again so uh, we have to make a graph so we run this command okay so uh, now uh, standard error uh, has also been added along with these uh, uh, genotype data so average data with standard error and uh, we already have uh, LSD values so we will use all these values to make a graph the graph showing mean values with error bar and LSD values above that so uh, the data is now complete now we will do plotting of these main effects okay for that uh, plotting we will use ggplot2 package so for that we will load the package then uh, we will do plotting using this command where uh, x will be genotype and y will be average values average a okay then uh, we will run this command again using uh, ggplot first we ran it using plot then we will run it using ggplot okay Uh, the command is completed now uh, we will print it yeah, it will take a while but to the next command that is adding a layer to p1 this uh, p1 is actually an empty graph uh, just showing coordinates then we add uh, layers to it so uh, we add layers using uh, geom function so uh, first we uh, do plotting of bars and then uh, adding its labels and adding letters so uh, multiple effects could be added here and then we finally print our graph okay uh, this graph is ready yeah, you can view here uh, so uh, it's written here uh, the title, uh, main title, main label, the pyruvic acid content, or any any other uh, label you can give it. 
then uh, this is y axis legend then x axis legend and this is uh, level of genotypes or level of your treatment variables here and you can see uh, your bar graph uh, is having error bar over it and then uh, LSC letters are also there so uh, you can uh, change your title from this command uh, where label uh, you can change title from here uh, your x axis title your y axis title uh, so you can change it accordingly you can uh, adjust the position of different uh, uh, variables or different uh, uh, means uh, lettering uh, lettering position you can also change it uh, above it or you can merge it with uh, uh, bar so uh, it will give you a beautiful graph without uh, any uh, extra effort just along with analysis you can create this graph so I hope uh, this um, will help you to do your analysis more powerfully and more robustly thank you for watching thank you very much